Yeah, team. Thursday morning. Uh, did a pickup this morning. Bicycles, and well, I guess that's parts. <laughs> There's a single bicycle in there. Anyway, so and then Wednesday. We picked up a partial of an elliptical, if you can recognize that as elliptical. I think that's going straight on the trailer. I don't think there's anything to that I want to keep or, or strip off. And we picked up this gazelle thing, which smashed my finger really, really good. Because I grabbed it somewhere and it folds up. I don't remember how I did it, but uh, right here, see where these nuts have been grinding on here? I managed to put my hand there and I pulled it and uh, <laughs> I was wearing a glove and it tore the skin off through the glove, so I'll show it to you later if you really want to. And trailer, trailer, looks about the same, I don't remember what that looked like. All right, team. Thursday afternoon. Got another uh, afternoon rain shower. This is uh, what's been slowing us down. That's why there haven't been as many videos and stuff like that. Because uh, a lot of my stuff's outside. So I'm not sure what my plan will be. Maybe I'll just do some cleaning, organize, try to scrap what's inside. Um. We'll see what happens, guys. Alright, team. Still Thursday afternoon. The rain has stopped. Still thunder. Pretty good breeze. Um, I'm going to do some rearranging while it's not raining. So, uh, if it starts raining again, I will be uh, self-contained. I won't have to stand in the rain and do stuff. So, I'm going to move some stuff from east to west and west to east. And uh, stage some stuff in the garage. Alright, team. I uh, I gave up. The bigger storm came and it's uh, blowing rain sideways. Not a lot of thunder and lightning and stuff, but there's a good strong wind pushing the water at you. So maybe next break in the rain we'll keep going. All right, team. It's Thursday, about 5 p.m. Uh, we moved our rolling bicycles out of the garage just because I don't want to deal with them right now. We uh, brought our still need to be stripped aluminum guys from the west side. Brought them over here so I could get them in there and get them done. Uh, let me move around. Left a couple of our rollers in here that we know we're just going to trash. And I unloaded the trailer and put it in here so I could work it real quick. Um, I think this little chromy piece is aluminum or stainless. I'm guessing aluminum, but... Uh, it seems to be non-magnetic. It's hard to say because the frame's right underneath it, so my magnet tries to stick, but I'll let you guys know. Alright, we cleaned up the workbench on the east side again. And uh, I'll show you the west side. It's more like what I envisioned when I started moving everything east-west, I don't know, two months ago. So we're on the west side, and this is much more what I, this is aluminum, and that's aluminum. This is what I envisioned when I started moving the sheds and everything else. Uh, was staging it like this. And then I could just back the truck right over and load it up. Because, I mean, now I got an idea when I have an actual truck load. Instead of just a big mess. Uh, we put our motors over here for now. So this is obviously not done. It will probably never be done. But anyway... Uh, I don't think there's anything else to show you. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We did, uh, we did manage to get a lot of our trash cans into one location. Obviously, that's not a permanent location, but um, I think we have over 20 trash cans. We collect them. We like trash cans. I got a bunch over there. Those are all full of aluminum cans, crushed aluminum. And then I still got them all over the place back here and off-site. But anyway, I think that might do it for today, guys. Hi, right, team. Friday afternoon. We got a couple bike frames, uh, treadmill deck, and elliptical, some aluminum cans, and 
that's about the excitement there. Go ahead and get it unloaded. Alright team, this is a drain. It goes under this concrete slab from the corner of the house there where that gutter is. This was uh, silted in. I got this like cover on it so you don't have a big hole in your yard. But Mrs. Duggar started digging it out. Because originally it had a, a pretty good pit under it and it silted in. So we're going to dig kind of a hole for the water to fall into. It's uh, Saturday, I guess early evening. It's like 6 p.m. So we're going to work on that real quick. I guess we dug a two to three foot deep hole. So uh, now when the water drains, it'll have somewhere to go instead of just pooling right by the end of the pipe. Because what's been happening is it's been backing up the pipe. But now when it comes out, it'll be able to drop into there until it can seep into the ground. I got a... This board here is bowed up, so when I mow, I hit it sometimes. So I'm just going to cut this thing a little smaller. Rather than replace this board, I'm just going to come over here and cut across and just make this thing two boards shorter because I it obviously it doesn't need to be as big as it is it extends all the way out to here and I really don't need it that big it's just that's what side that uh, deck pallet thing was when I got it so I just went with that but I'm gonna fix it by just cutting it off all right guys we're done we just need to put away the tools uh, I cut it shorter I forgot to save some dirt for backfill, so I ended up digging the hole even bigger and deeper. <laughs> uh, I cut off the end, like I said. I didn't realize this board was rotted off. And this is that one that bowed up. That I tried to screw down, but the board underneath is rotted, so the screws never held. Anyway, that's all treated wood, so we're just going to throw it away. And that's how it's going to look. I'll catch you later. Alright team, it's Monday morning. I decided to try and do this cabinet switch. We're going to get rid of this mess of cabinets and go with those two big ones. Um, this project I know won't get 100% done today. My goal is to move these over to another part of the garage, get the other two staged in there, and then uh, I'll call it a day. Uh, we took most of Sunday off. We didn't do much. And uh, I got to work tonight. So we're going to try and get this done. And then we're going to do the uh, lunch and a movie and a nap thing. And then we're going to head off. So I'll come back when we uh, get some progress. Alright team. That's the new look. It's kind of dark. But anyway, that's the new look. I got some options. I can, uh, I still got room to put a couple two drawers up on top if I wanted. And I've got enough room between my can crusher and the end of the cabinets here that I could actually put one of those four drawers right there. Uh, it'd stick out two inches farther and it's only an inch lower so it'd be about there. I don't know if I'd be able to use that plug, but I don't use that plug much right now anyway, so we'll see guys. That's part of why it's not getting done today. My goal was mainly just to stage those there. Uh, they're empty, and all the ones I moved still are full of stuff, so I haven't moved anything around either. But I'll weigh those options. We'll see what happens. I guess it's still Monday mid-morning, I guess. Uh, I don't know if you remember this thing. Uh... I turned it on and it's got power and it works so uh, I'm gonna give you a quick demo I guess anyway I just don't have the charger for it so uh, we're looking to sell that one I think we looked up a charger charger cords like 15 20 bucks so we'll see what happens with that plus we're gonna end this video we'll do a cliffhanger on the cabinets over there the file cabinet re redo. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, man.